What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Hope you're having a fantastic day. So in today's video, very different. We don't have any gameplay for you. I'm going to be taking a look at the new patch notes that just dropped for COD Mobile. Now, I have not been playing the game recently. As you guys know, I haven't played it in like a week. I think I did like one stream on it. So I've just been taking a break and I've been super excited to see what they change in the next season because obviously I think we all know that there needs to be a couple changes at least. I think some of those changes that I'm looking forward to is the meta changing. I want there to be new guns that I see in ranked because right now all I see is the DRH the ASM 10 not as much anymore and mainly the man of war so it's dominated by three shot assault rifles I would love to see SMGs in play I would also maybe want to see rust removed from domination at least hardpoint it's okay but domination is just the spawns are so screwed up uh I, I just hate playing on it so I hope they remove that and maybe they'll add in a new map but the biggest thing that I want to see them do this season other than the balance changes is just to completely redo the ranking system because right now I'm in legendary and because my points are so high since I used to play like almost every day like four hours a day in ranked my points are just up there so the only people I play are pro players like last night I played for the first time in a week so it feels like 90% of players in ranked are actually either master or legendary which is the complete opposite of how it should be if you look at any other game for example Valorant the top like 5% are in immortal and the top like 10% are in diamond and then it just goes on like that it's not like 90% of the people are in the top rank that absolutely makes no sense and that is just not how any ranked game mode it should be so I hope they do something with that and I hope they they change it at a little bit at least or just make it go back to the usual system where you can play literally anyone in legendary and it's not matching you up against either pros or people on like your same level really quick before we get into the video today's sponsor is actually a one plus if you do not know i play on a one plus 8t i've streamed on it a couple times and you guys have just seen how amazing it is it has a 120 hertz screen which is just well ahead of the competition you're going to be able to see people super easily in matches it also has a snapdragon 865 along with 12 gigabytes of ram so it's going to be really really smooth to play on and i don't think i've ever dropped a single frame playing and i've had multiple things open in the background the performance is amazing it also has warp charging so if you are a grinder like myself you'll be able to get back into the game as soon as possible it charges in like 15 minutes which is faster than pretty much any other phone on the market and they're having deals on it all the time so if you want to go check it out there will be a link in the description below go get yours now anyways let's hop right back into the video all right so here's the patch notes i gotta i gotta warn you guys I did translate these from Chinese and obviously I cannot speak Chinese so I use Google Translate so I hope everything is like actually they translated it correctly we'll, we'll see we'll see let's just skim through it really fast uh new event reward okay so this is this looks like a sniper here so it's probably going to be like that one sniper we already have I'm just brain farting right now you guys know what I'm talking about the outlaw it's the outlaw yeah it's probably going to be like an outlaw uh but it has a special attachment bolt which increases the weapon's accuracy and range but decreases the reload speed which honestly that's not a big deal. I wonder how many shots there'll be in the mag, though. That's what's really going to depend. All right, we got a green perk here. When an enemy is defeated, the surrounding enemy is scanned and displayed on the minimap. That seems kind of broken to me. That I wonder how far the range is. Because if it scans your whole minimap, that's really, really good. for Especially for aggressive players. That's going to be so good. Okay. I hope, I hope the range is, is kind of far, actually. All right, we got a new Battle Royale game mode. I don't play too much Battle Royale. I am legendary now. I did play a bit recently uh, just because I was bored of multiplayer. But uh, they're adding a tank game mode. Tanks are already kind of crappy in BR. They're kind of broken. I hate it when people are in tanks and I have to try to just kill them out of it. But this whole game mode seems it's going to be a ton of tanks. I don't know how it's going to play out. If you guys played the last like rush BR mode, I played it and I'm legendary like I said so I normally play against real players when I played it I did not find a single other actual player in the game so let's see if anyone actually plays this I'm really interested to see what happens there all right moving on to the thing that you guys were probably all waiting for improvements and optimizations for multiplayer let's go increased vertical recoil control of OWC shooter attachment for MSMC okay so that's a little bit of a buff for the MSMC it's a buff for the attachments, not even a buff for the guns. Probably, probably still not going to be top tier. It's not going to change anything. Still going to get three shot by a man of war. Aiming shot time reduction of YKM combat attachment. We need to see like how much it actually reduces it. But it's, that doesn't give them any more damage or anything. So these guns are still going to be like mediocre like they are. All right, the DLQ damage increases to 90 and wall penetration increases. That's huge. That's going to make the DLQ the number one sniper. Definitely, definitely. Aim shot time reduction for DRH without attachments has increased wait so they buff the drh is this what i'm seeing here yeah this means no stock so ads speed of drh no stock is going to be better 
Uh, screen shake is reduced with no stock. Wow, why are they buffing no stock? Accuracy rate of the ICR-1 with no stock attachment and the KRM. Uh, I do not know what the battle butt is. <laughs> the battle butt attachment has been slightly reduced. So that's a buff for the ICR. It's going to be more accurate. And uh, the KRM, I have no idea what that means. Screen shake increases uh, when you have no stock for the ASM-10 when you're hit. So that's a nerf for the ASM-10. Again, I'm not sure why. Arctic reduced the damage multiplier for the legs at 50 wall penetration. So when you have the MIP bullets or whatever, uh, you're not going to be able to one shot through walls or on the legs anymore. Thank God they nerfed the Arctic. This thing was so broken last season. War Machine nerfed again, which I'm honestly happy about. Damage reduction effect has been reduced. So I think it does more damage now, but the radius is smaller. So you have to be more accurate with it. I like that. Damage range for the gravity spikes reduced. Let's go. Annihilator's damage to those have been reduced. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I like using the Annihilator to destroy stealth choppers and Goliath, because I hate going against Goliath. Soldiers with dead silence perk no longer hear footsteps and their audible range of running is reduced. I like that, I love that. They did that super well. Shout out to COD Mobile for that one. So what that means is you can't hear your footsteps when you're running, which was a huge flaw of dead silence because you can't tell if it's your footsteps or your enemies and it's annoying. And also uh, you can hear people across the map in this game. So I think putting dead silence on might actually be the thing to do now because they're not going to be able to hear you sprinting from as far away. We'll have to test it in game to see how far that actually is. You can jump while moving along a wall. They did it. it no more when you're standing right in front of something trying to jump and mantle on it. Is it going to glitch you out and not let you do that? That That's awesome. That should have been fixed seasons ago but at least it's fixed now optimized hitbox that's nice all right enemy movements are gonna look nicer and we get 120 fps oh they added more sound effects so you can hear better that's cool because sometimes like i swear uh they're like behind me but it sounds like they're above me you guys know what i mean wait is that it that's all they did for multiplayer they didn't touch the man of war and they buffed the drh what? Oh, wait, wait. I see a rank match thing here. Hopefully this is, this is what I was talking about earlier. Multiplayer. Optimize the algorithm for evaluating a player's combat power and ability at all ranks. Okay. Including legendary ranks. Legendary players with a score of around 6,500 are less often matched with legendary players with very high scores. What the, what are you doing? Really? So you're saying you're making it worse? The thing that everyone has complained about for the past like two seasons, the fact that there's skill based matchmaking in legendary, just split the ranks up. Don't this makes zero sense. Have you I feel it. What this? Why? Why? This is this literally makes zero sense. Ranking rank should. Oh, my God at least give like the people who are up there like a new rank like how in valorant and i'm gonna reference this a lot they have immortal rank and then the top 500 players on the leaderboard get a rank called radiant so at least change the name of those people who hit, hit a certain threshold of points that's what rank is you're supposed to split it up you're not supposed to base it off of like skill based or point base and call it all the same thing because you can't see other people's points in game this makes absolutely zero sense and they did not change the man of war or the drh or anything so it's pretty much going to be the same exact rank season as last season the changes they made were very minimal for weapons that literally no one uses nothing is going to change this season is going to be the same as last season except they might change the maps i don't even know if they'll change rust because it didn't say anything about it here. I'm hoping they replace Rust with one of the new maps, but we have no idea currently. I'm very mad. I was not, I was happy about the stuff that they were doing up until I read this. Let me read through this real fast. Accuracy of aiming shots of all weapons has been increased. Wow, that's actually pretty big. Increased horizontal recoil control for all weapons. Ooh, that's annoying. AK have less control. Okay, so the meta guns, it's easier to shoot rockets. Rockets are getting a buff. Some machine guns and shotguns is significantly increased. Okay, wow. Sniper recoil control is greatly increased. Tempest damage and damage radius increase. Wow, they have a lot of buffs. They changed this a lot, it, it feels like. I don't know. We'll have to play it. Annihilator is broken. Two shots at any distance now. Wow. Okay, even with tier 3 armor? Kind of nuts. Optimize the rank point calculation algorithm as a whole. Players will be able to earn more rank points this season for BR. It's so easy to hit legendary. 
literally my grandma who's never touched a phone before could hit legendary just play literally just play and sit in a corner and then at the end of the game you get a certain amount of points for topping and then you literally just it just takes time and then you hit legendary this was bad this was very bad i mean the the battle pass is cool itself i've seen it i'm not going to go over it in today's video because it's been pretty long but i'm not a fan this is not good it, it feels like they're abandoning multiplayer because it was bad this season they didn't even touch thermites like thermites are just i hate thermites so much sorry that's just a personal thing literally we're just gonna have a repeat of the same two three month season that we we just had i'm i'm not happy at all i do like cub mobile uh they do drop dope maps and and fun game modes but i just they, they just, just don't seem to listen to any feedback whatsoever on rank rank could be so much better so easily but i'm sorry i'm done ranting now guys it's gonna be the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed let me know your thoughts please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let me know if i'm overreacting anyways guys i'll see you later have a good one